welcome to Tote TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. And this is our hair. Look at our hair. <laughs> it's just one of those days. When I cut my hair short, I have like two, three weeks where it looks okay. And then it just takes over. It's like, nope. Sorry, lady. It's my show now. This is, <laughs> this is the Helen hair show. <laughs> it's just like, I do what I want, when I want <laughs> You can wash me, you can blow dry me, you can put product in me. I will still do what whatever I want. I want. So we're in that stage. It looks really cute though. It really does. Anyway, we interrupt this segment for the Tabitha show. She would like to say hello. Sweetie pie. She doesn't want to do that. All right, so we have stuff to talk to you about. Um, we are going to talk about the August challenge. We have some things to show you. Somebody asked us to show how we um, do a skein of yarn again, so we're going to do that. We started watching a really, really good show on TV that we want to tell you about. I don't know where I've been for so long, but... Uh... Right. We kind of are late to the game, but it's wonderful. So, yeah. okay, let's start with the yarn. Monday, we showed how to straighten up a skein of yarn that might get a little bit tangled before right. you start twist, uh, winding it off. As long as the ties are still in the yarn. Yeah. They, as you, when you get it, uh, most skeins come with two, most, uh, a lot of them come with three ties. Um, as long as those are still intact, you should be able to fix it. So if you put it down after you've untwisted it or whatever, and the way we All do right, it. So say I go like this. All right, now I have got this mess, kind of a mess of yarn. Okay. I would not do this if I didn't know this woman. <laughs> Cause otherwise she would be like, it's your mess. You now get to spend the next three hours trying to untangle it. All right. So do you want to show what to do? Okay. So you find, uh, first you find one of the ties. Okay. And I have one right here. So you pull that and then somewhere is going to be another one of the ties. And here it is. So you, you grab the second tie. Do you see how all of a sudden all the yarn is going? where it should be and then if you take it from there and just go like this a couple of times make sure it's spread out over your hands so that you're giving everything enough room to and also that all the yarn is laying the same way right because it has a tendency to twist itself and then you put this on a swift and you're ready to go right you're really ready to go so now remember how Tangled Mary Beth had that and for those who aren't familiar with yarn uh indie dyed yarn this is the tie I'm talking about and see how it's tied through the yarn it's what keeps it from getting untangled I remember when Mary Beth and I first started dyeing yarn we got a pack of 10 skeins and I just I was so exuberant I just ripped open the pack and grabbed yarn I had no idea what I was doing and I'm like, oh my God, look what I did. I've ruined. And it was like all 10 skeins were a mess. And then- Then do you remember we also used to, when we first started, we used to add like three or four more, more ties, ties to <laughs> each skein. Because we oh were so God. worried that it was going to get tangled. Um, but all you need is just two ties. One tie, two ties. Hold them up. And that shows you where the middle is. Yep. And you can, you can pretty much figure in- most tangles out. Yep. Sometimes there is the demon skein that comes yeah. that no matter what you do, There's just they're going to be tangles. Right. Um, but if you do that, every time you untwist a skein of yarn before you put it on your cake winder, you should be good. Yeah. And when you're putting it on your Swift, also one of the reasons of making sure everything's going the right way, if you put it on your Swift with all the strands as much as you can going the right way, that saves you a lot of headache too. I'm twisting yarn. This beautiful skein of yarn is a new color coming out next week. It's called Willow Tree Fairy. It goes so beautifully with all our fall of the autumn fairies. Oh my god. It's just a lovely far forest green tonal. If you uh, saw Charlie. Yeah, the, I did think of Charlie when I put the reel up. Um, Charlie. We showed us, there's a little quick snippet on Instagram this morning showing us putting color on putting the willow tree color on. So I have wanted to make a sweater out of this forest green for a long time. Well, you basically are. I am. Yeah. yeah. 
Because this is a uh, this is one of the main colors in William Burton Tom, the Trolls from the Hobbit. Right. So that if you're working with William Burton Tom, this um is the yeah. main, the base color. So if you don't want the grays and the golds that are also in William Burton Tom, this is good. Willow Tree Fairy. Okay. It will be available next week. It is debuting at Pittsburgh. Making its debut with the Pittsburgh color. This is not the Pittsburgh color. However. It goes beautifully with the Pittsburgh color. Right. Really, really beautifully. We have gone. We're autumn. Yep, full on fall. All right, so our um, August challenge. We mentioned on Monday that the August challenge was to make a pillow. And some people have started showing what they think they're going to be doing with their pillows, which is really, really cool. We love but seeing them. But we're going to tell you, no, that's not what you're doing. <laughs> but we're going to show you an option. Another option that you might want to do. Or two. Um, so we have found, as we said, we've gone full on autumn. We have found some Halloween po uh, pillow patterns to do. We have one that comes in a knit or a crochet pattern. I'm going to show you what I've started so far in a minute. Um, and then I created a pillow pattern for some of our Halloween fabric that you can make a pillow from. Um, we're doing, this is the Spirit of Halloween. Yes, the Spirit of Halloween fabric line. And I took three pieces of the Halloween fabric and came up with a way to do a pillow. It's very simple. So you start with a panel and then you add a top piece and a bottom piece and then you add two side pieces and then you add a back and a zipper. We're gonna show you how to put in a zipper. And you will get enough fabric to make not one, but two Halloween pillows. So, they look so cool. Yeah, we have them on our couch. And, uh, they oh my God, they look so the fantastic. Um, so the kit is going to come with enough fabric to make both pillows. So you're going to get a half yard of the green, a half yard of the blue backing, and a quarter yard that will have all four pictures. Essentially of... what you're doing is you're getting half a panel. Right. Of, uh, cause the panel comes with two of each of these. So we're giving you a half panel. Okay. So you're going to get enough fabric to do all of this. You're going to get two zippers and you are not getting the pillow forms. You're going to have to provide the pillow right. forms yourself, but the pattern is for a 16 by 16 pillow. And look how nicely that fits the 16 by 16. It really fits it perfectly. So, um, you'll get enough to do this. I did both of these in probably an hour and a half. Now, I am an experienced sewer, so that for me it was not difficult at all, but you should be able to do these in an afternoon, even if you're a beginner. Right. And we're going to film a video when we get back from Pittsburgh showing you step by step how to do it. So you'll have plenty of time to make them before Halloween. But aren't they pretty? Yeah. I think they just look so nice. So the kits are in the shop now. Um, it is $20. For the kit and we double triple checked our math yes we did like quadruple checked our math we did everything <laughs> so you're getting two half yards of fabric and a quarter yard of fabric and two zippers and the pattern i don't care if my warranty is expired i'm podcasting um so you'll get everything that you need to make the two pillows except the pillow forms right Okay, and as then and as a, I said, a pillow form you can buy a sixteen by sixteen pillow form at any Joanne's, um, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, um, Michael's. Michael should have them. Amazon, you can probably find them. Right. Um, actually, I saw them in Walmart yesterday. So piece of cake. Yeah. All right. These are so awesome. You're going to want them. Right. You know you do. So, pattern, and then video coming when we get back from Pittsburgh. Right. We just gonna have to do that afterwards right okay so there's that one then there's another pattern um helen's gonna put in a picture here of the halloween pillow that we're knitting or crocheting I have started the knitted one and I've gotten um, maybe a third of the way through, maybe a quarter of the way through. I'm not that far, but oh my God, I have a cat and a pider. <laughs> How awesomely cool is that? 
Oh my God, look at that. Okay, so this is the Hocus Pocus pattern. And, oh. And you've started the letters for Pocus. I've started the letters. You can see the little bit of orange coming through and just a tiny little bit of orange there. It's gonna, it, it'll start taking shape. And then there's another spider and a bat up at the top. Very cool. Look at my spider. <laughs> that was a lot of paying attention because it's do one in the, the, the um, main color, do one in the black, do one in the main color, oh, okay, do one in the right. There was a lot of counting and making <laughs> sure that I got it all right. But look at my spider. Look at your cat. Look at my cat. Love this. It's so cool. So um, I'm going to finish this. I'm thinking it may fit a 12 by 12 pillow form. I'm not going to know until I finish yeah. it. I also cast on the back um, just because I was going up to see my mom and I wanted something that I could just knit without paying any attention because with this, I really need to pay attention to make sure I'm getting all the pieces in the right spot, um, the colors in the right spot. So that is as far as I'm, and the back is just garter, back and forth garter, piece of cake. Um, so the pattern uh, is charted and written. Yes. So if you if you're afraid of charts, it's also written out, um, and uh, the kit is gonna come for the knit version. The kit comes with 150 grams of New Jersey beaches. So you get one full skein and a half skein. Right, and then you'll get one each minis of black and orange. The black is the circus only comes at night. New color. This is hocus pocus. This is hocus pocus. This. Is this like, is, this is if just, you are an orange person, this is the perfect orange. Right. This is just oranges layer upon oranges layered upon oranges. Oh, it's so right. beautiful. It's it has got, so much depth and color. Right, there's just a lot of depth of color to it. So, um, Hocus Pocus is also debuting next week. It's um, Pittsburgh, wherever I'm going next week. Pittsburgh. <laughs> anyway, so... Knit version is 150 grams of New Jersey beaches and one each of the mini skeins. Crochet uh, is, it, number one, it's a Tunisian crochet pattern, so just in case that affects you. And crochet eats yarn, so the crochet version is 250 skeins of New Jersey beaches and then one each of the minis. Right. So, so the that knit, is the price differential between the two. Right, the knit, I think, is 58 and the crochet is 86, right? Yes, yes. price-wise, yes. Price-wise. So both, uh, so the sewing version and the knit and crochet versions are both on this, the site now. We're not doing an update this week. It's just, it's there. So. And um, we have a link to the pattern on Ravelry. We are not providing the pattern because right. we don't know if you want knit or crochet. So you will be buying the pattern yourself directly from Ravelry. Right. But it. I it have it. if that many people go into her yes. listing and buy it. So we want to... Um, I have I have the pattern and so far I have not had any problems. It's been very very simple to read. Right. So I'm having no problem doing it whatsoever. So we're calling both pillows the sewing version and the knit or crochet versions inter, uh, advanced beginner patterns. Yeah. So the sewing is advanced beginner only because of the zipper. So because some people get a little scared of the zipper. Right. But after our video, you will no longer be scared. Of no, it's a piece of cake. It really is. Yeah. It really, it's going to be so easy for you. So yeah, um, so Halloween pillows. Now, again, um, other people have put up different pillows that they're doing, and that is fine. You can do whatever kind of pillow you want. It's right. up to you. Um, we it just can like be... to give you options. Right. And since we're thinking Halloween, we're doing Halloween pillows. Besides, we found that Hocus Pocus pillow a while ago, and we're like, that's it. Yeah. We have to do this for We were going to do challenge. it in June, but we're like, no, we should probably wait until August. <laughs> However, if you start it now, it will be done in plenty of time. And when Halloween comes, when October comes around, you're going to have so much nice things, to, so many nice right. things to put out. Plus, you're knitting it in DK weight yarn. It's going to knit up fairly quickly. Yeah. So on big needles, right? Nines. Yeah. So you're knitting on a size nine needle. So it's going to it's going to knit up quickly. The crochet, I can't tell you because I don't I don't know how to do it. I know, but to crochet goes so fast anyway. Right. I mean, people whip through. Heather's probably already done what we're doing the video. Right. <laughs> Okay, so those are our pillow uh, kits, and they, as Helen said, they're available now in the shop. Um, I will put links below the video. We have a certain number of the yarn ones available ready to ship that we will ship out before we go. Um, if we surpa surpass that number, 
then we'll send you an email and just let you know that we're going to be dying it once we get back and it'll go out right. the week of the 16th. Yeah. But you'll still have tons of time to get it done. Oh, yeah. Okay. And if you right. don't, we're really very nice people. We'll extend the date. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. All right. So... You've shown your knitting. I'll just I've shown show my knitting. Quickly. That's what I've been um, working on. I, I have done a little bit of work on the Dingley Dell, but then I thought I should probably get as much of this done as possible so I could get it ready to show. This is my Wild Mountain Time sweater, and I am now in the knit round and round and round stage. It's really very lovely for TV. Helen is doing such a nice job knitting me a sweater. Oh, she's so <laughs> Oh, I love on. this they sweater. They are my colors. I, don't care. I love this sweater so much. I have been looking forward to knitting this sweater. It is so beautiful in these colors for such a long time. I know you pick them out almost once you we dyed them. You're like, yeah. yep, that's what we're doing. So oh this is where I am God. so far. So I've got about another four ish in inches uh, before I start the ribbing, and then it's short sleeves. So that should be done relatively soon. <sighs> it is. And just as I said, it's just knitting. I'm, I'm just knitting now. So it's just... I love knitting in RDK. I say this all the time. But this is a Who is going to promote our yarn more if than we me. don't, right? But, oh my God. I love knitting in our fingering too, but this just is such a dream to knit with. With chow goos, it just goes so quickly. This is at the perfect spot for driving out to Pittsburgh. It is. I have a sweater that's in a similar spot, and it is the perfect driving out to Pittsburgh knitting because... I don't have to think. I you can just go round and round and round. Right. I don't even know, I have to know where I end the row. Right. Um, so, yeah. Ugh. Wild Mountain Time by Baby Cocktails, Thea Coleman. Love it. Oh, my God. And it's being done in William Burton Tom oh. is the green. Right, I should have said that. And puff sleeves is the orange. Right. It will be perfect for Rhinebeck. I'm going to have to make one. Yeah. Oh, that's just... Wow. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love William Burton Tom. I mean, William Burton Tom is a spectacular color. Really Charlie, is. you and I feel about green the same way. And oh, I just love this color. Okay. Okay. Enough of wing and eyeing over my masterpiece. All right. Okay, so um, we have been watching Ted Lasso on Amazon Prime. No, Apple, Apple Plus. Apple TV. Right. Um, my brother has been trying to get us to watch this for pretty much a year now. And I, just you, I thought this was something totally different. So what did you think it was? I thought it was like this, you know, brash comedy about, you know, the... The ugly American who goes oh, okay. over and thinks he can change English football. And I, d I don't know why. It was just, oh my God, it's not bad at all. This is just. Oh, it's such a nice show. This is such a wonderful show. It really is. It's just an absolutely wonderful, nice, nice show. I love everything about it. There's a lot of cursing. Oh, there is that. But that's okay. But it's something that does not bother us. Right. Um, other than that, it is. Oh, it's just feel good. The people are nice. Yeah. Um, Even when they're trying not to be. They're right. still nice. Yeah, it's just... And I remember when Jason Sudeikis won the Emmy for it. Again, thought Beating it was out Dan Levy. Totally different show. He was beating out Schitt's Creek. I'm just like... Cannot be better than Schitt's Creek. I mean... <laughs> that's how good it is. And you know how she feels about Schitt's Creek. <laughs> We have just started, we started season two last night. We are blowing through this. I know, but it's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful show. Yeah. We're just enjoying it so much. Just, uh, love it. Okay. Everybody should be like Ted Lasso. Yeah, they really should. All right, I have one more recommendation. Um, this is a book, and I just finished it. And... Um, it's just, it's a beautiful book. It's an absolutely beautiful book. It's, it's different from anything I've ever read. And the people just touch you, really, really touch you. It's called Beasts of Extraordinary Circumstance, and it's by Ruth Emmy Lang. And um, I, I cannot recommend it enough. I'll put a link to that 
below. It's just a wonderful book. So if you have a chance to get it from your library, I have it in paperback. Um, we got it from Barnes & Noble. We had we got a stack from Barnes & Noble um, a couple of months ago, and I think we got five books, and I've read three of them, and all three of them are four or five star um, reads. Okay. They've all been really, really, really good. So, um, yeah, no, the it's Beasts of Extraordinary Circumstance by Ruth Emmy Lang, and Helen's going to read it, and then we'll do a review of it. But it's it's a good one. It's a really good one. We've just been tri uh, comparing our biceps. You missed it. You can't see that. <laughs> you don't want to see it. Trust me, nobody needs to see that. <laughs> okay, um, we're off. We have things to do, so um, it's a gorgeous day. Yes, it is. Very warm sun. It's like perfect beach because there's a little bit of breeze and the yeah. warm sun. It's absolutely gorgeous. If I go anywhere near the sun, I'm going to sleep, so I have to stay out of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I am a cat. You put me in a sunbeam. Boom. I'm out. Um, so we're going to get going. Yes. Right? Yes. All right. So we hope you guys have a great weekend. Go forth and create. We will see you on Monday. Yes. All right. Bye. Bye.